hello there and welcome back to my channel so today yeah i'm going to be trying out some uh, new makeup that i got from aliexpress one of these products i have actually tried before but it was a long time ago and when i tried it i got the wrong shape Let me, i'm just gonna i'll show you what it is because it, i feel it would make more sense that way okay so this is the product i was mentioning it's the pro matte longwear found deliation by you can be so when i tried this last time i actually really really loved it i thought it looked incredibly flawless and it just it made my skin look like really good um but i unfortunately got it in a shade that was about three times too dark for my skin and it just looked incredibly warm and kind of orange so i have been wanting to try it again but in a lighter shade just to see if it can be a foundation that I can actually use as opposed to just to try out for the day, love, and then never be able to wear again because it was way too dark. So um, this is not like a review of this foundation. It's just going to be me trying it, seeing how the shade is, and then you can, again, see how beautiful she is. So um, we're going to be trying out this founded liation. I also have a concealer, which is by... The Fever brand, I've had this for ages, I've just not got around to trying it. You will notice that the packaging of this looks very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I definitely think they have taken some liberties when creating this packaging. They've definitely taken inspiration from NARS, but we're going to give her a go today. Um, I really like the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS, so I am kind of hoping that she's going to be on par with that one. And the final product that we have for to try is by Miss Rose. It's been a long time since I tried any product by Miss Rose, but for a long time, back in the early days of me uh, using AliExpress, Miss Rose was a brand that was a really unexpected kind of joy. I didn't really expect much from Miss Rose. I just thought, who is this Miss Rose? Where did she come from? What are her products all about? I didn't really have high expectations. But I've tried her BB cream, her foundation, which by the way, both phenomenal. I still use them to this day and they're just extravaganzas of um, base products. I also have tried her lipsticks again, creamy, smooth, pigmented, so beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to trying out this highlighter. It's called the Shimmer Highlight. Very original, Miss Rose, come on. I know I was just singing your praises, but that doesn't mean I won't take the piss out of you Alex, if I need to. Alex. Okay, so this is what the highlighter looks like. I think you will agree with me. She looks absolutely gorgeous. She looks very kind of golden -y peach. I'm questioning, is she going to be a little bit too dark maybe for my fair skin but you know what that's not going to stop me trying and inside because i'm an eternal optimist i'm thinking no it's going to be great it's going to give a little like oh bit of bronze sun kissed look so um this is in the shade 07 i don't know if i mentioned that because i have such a short-term memory issue i think you'll agree with me she looks so beautiful she reminds me of the ofra highlighters i was thinking what does she remind me of the ofra highlighters look exactly the same um okay so guys without further ado we're going to begin we're going to jump into the you can be pro matte foundation i'm just going to give her a little shake and then i am just going to be applying it today with my rather dirty beauty blender it's very dirty indeed and also this has been played with by the cats so many times like the cats love going in my um cupboard in the bathroom just taking my beauty blenders and just like ravaging them apparently it's their favorite thing to do oh okay just to say as well this is in the shade i don't know because it doesn't have the shade name written on it anywhere but i will confirm like down here i'll double check the order um okay so first thoughts are yes she's super high coverage i'm a little bit worried like she's looking quite yellowy toned and i'm i don't know i think do you know what i'm gonna be optimistic and positive i actually think if you compare the shade to the rest of my face it doesn't look like it's gonna match but if you compare her to my neck i would say it could match so i'm just gonna just Blend this out. I only put a tiny bit on. And look at how well she's spreading. Look at how opaque she looks. Oh my gosh, she's so high coverage. I'd say like if you don't want a high coverage, then don't get this foundation because she definitely is 
very full coverage. Um, she just, oh wow, like, can you see how she has completely just got rid of all of the redness that I had? I'm just gonna kind of try and take some from the rest of my face and then use that on my forehead because I don't really want to go in with it anymore on my forehead because then I feel like I'm going to end up with way too much on the forehead. Okay, so that is one side of my face done. Uh, I mean, this just looks... Oh, I think I missed the bit up there. Why do it look so red? Oh, it's gone now. Okay, so I think that this side of my face looks, oh my gosh, completely flawless. We turn to the other side. Look, you can see it's covered all of this shit up. Like this, this is what we were starting with. I mean, look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I think you can see it's a great foundation. I did do a wear test when I actually did the full review and it wore absolutely beautifully. It was very long lasting. It feels weightless on the skin, which is a surprise considering how full coverage it is. But oh my gosh, right. I think the shade is better. I mean, it's still quite warm tone, but I think we can definitely work with this. It's nowhere near as bad as it was last time. Trust me. I don't know. You're probably watching this thinking, oh my gosh, like how bad must it have been? last time yeah I, yes whatever you're thinking just times it by a hundred and it's a hundred times worse than what you're thinking okay so the face is done and i was just thinking okay what which is the next product we're going to try and it is the fever concealer and i actually think that a makeup product has never been more redundant than now because what the heck do i actually need concealer for i just think like I've got such a full coverage base on, I couldn't possibly like cut, but put anything else on my face because there's nothing else to cover up. So I actually hope you don't mind, but I just don't think there is a place for this concealer on my face today. I, I just think it would be just ridiculous to apply concealer to an already like fully and very high covered face. So I'm going to save this for another time. And do you know what? I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then we're going to just try the highlighter because I um I've just realized that is this a crap video you're thinking it's a crap video I was meant to try other things and I'm not because I'm not trying to conceal let me just dig around and see if I can find anything else we could try today okay so I've actually tried two things for us to try we have a lipstick by the Katki brand which I don't know if I've actually tried this before and I may have done but nonetheless, I think it's worth trying again because the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous and the shade of this lipstick is just of oh, perfection. Um, it's this beautiful kind of vibrant coral shade. So I just thought even though we're in the depth of winter, why not go for a super summery lipstick to cheer us all up? So we're going to go for that. And I also, um, I found this at um, Eyeliner, I think. So this is by um, a brand called Cosmetic Art. And it's in the shade grey. And it is the most generous uh, size of eyeliner I've ever come across. Like usually, you know, you get given like this size. And then we have all of this length. And I just cannot complain about that. So I'm going to be just using this on my waterline today. I'm hoping that she... Oh, it's got a bit of string stuck to it. Like, what is that all about? It will not come off. Oh, that's really strange. So the string is stuck there. Anyway, um, right, we're going to try the lipstick first, actually, because I've realised my lips look an absolute mess right now. So we're going to go in with the lipstick first, and then we're going to try the grey eyeliner just in my waterline. Okay, so like, wow. Not only does this lipstick just feel so, so good quality, I think it looks, it looks like a Dior. It really does. Like a Tom Ford, like an Estee Lauder. It just has that look of luxury and like, mm, I'm an expensive lipstick. It's really beautiful, guys. And it just feels like so comfortable. I love the shine that we have coming from it. It is the most beautiful shade. Do I feel that it looks like it does in the bullet? No. I was definitely expecting it was going to be more of like a kind of bright coral. It doesn't really look like it looks in the tube, but I believe that Katkin is an Eastern makeup brand and I know that in the kind of Eastern kind of makeup world, they do prefer kind of more sheer, like just less in your face kind of um, makeup. So this is definitely like, it has a very like Eastern kind of 
you know lipstick look which i just i love it i think it looks so gorgeous and I i've not tried anything by catkin before unless i've tried this lipstick before which i may have done i don't know so i definitely would say that i am intrigued to try out more catkin makeup based on the absolute fantastic quality of this lipstick okay so next we're gonna move on to the <laughs> the ginormous uh, lip liner. The only thing that, that th is throwing me off a little bit, making me feel a bit concerned, a bit anxious, is this string that is just stuck to it. Because I'm thinking, why would it have string on it? Like, why? And why won't it come off? I don't know. Anyway, I'll do a little swatch. Okay, so it's just a really nice, beautiful grey. And I'm just going to apply, this string is doing my head in. It's just very strange. Like, why is it there? Why are you there? Well, like, what is your mission? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to put this in the waterline. <sighs> okay, so I've tried putting this in the waterline and it does not want to go there. It's saying no. And also the bits of string are just throwing me off. Um, so, do you know what? I hope you don't mind, but mm, ding, it's a no from me. Okay, so I'm just doing my contour and you know what I'm not used to my face looking this flawless like this is a whole other level of flawless I did try the Beauty Glaze new foundation uh, the other week and oh, that was flawless but it just wasn't as full coverage as this like my, this face does not even look like my face right now like my eyes look like my eyes my lips look like my lips but my actual skin it it looks like someone just like cut someone else's skin Skin off and just like popped it on my face. It's just, it just looks like so alien to me for my face to look this perfect. So, if you're a fan of like full coverage foundations, I think you would really like this one. Okay, so I've done my contour and we're now ready to try the beautiful Miss Rose highlighter. So, as I said, this is in the shade 7. I'm going to do a little so watch. Oh, do you know what? I was expecting she would be like really soft and silky and smooth. Oh, no, she feels like rough, like so rough. Maybe that's just a top layer, I don't know. But she did not feel how I thought she was going to feel. She felt worse. This is what she looks like. She's like very like peachy gold. If I do a little so watch. Oh, look, that's the little grey eyeliner that was just never meant to be. It makes me a bit sad seeing it there. But anyway, so this is the highlight. Yeah, I have to say I'm not overly impressed. And I, the feel of it definitely did like put me off of it. But what is that? Like, can you even see it? I don't know. Let me just go in again because I don't know if I'm just like giving this a hard time because it did, it feels very rough. But I'm just going to like go in a bit more. Oh, I can't do it anymore. It's so rough. Anyway, right. So there we go. I mean, do you know what? We're here. So I'm going to give her a hair a go. But let's just say I'm not very like overly optimistic by the way i just want to show i've not like set my face today i didn't feel i needed to just because this foundation seems to have just kind of like set itself which is great do you know what i think i'm gonna go in with my little fan brush uh, situation today i'm just gonna just gonna go in to the highlight i want to go like this do you know what uh, this is probably one of those highlights that it looks shit when swatched but it just looks majestical on the face at least i'm hoping it's gonna be that kind of highlight i mean i can't really see much can you if i can like, can i show you the other side that does not have any any highlight on it do you know what i just i just spotted my boobs in my mirror there and i was thinking wow they look great so yeah could you see anything guys like let me have a look if i compare this side i can't really see anything whatsoever oh my gosh what a disappointment such a disappointment and to think i was raving about miss rose so highly at the beginning of this video and that's not to take anything away from her fantastic base products but Maybe she just should just stick to base products going forward and not bother. Uh, I ain't got time for this. Sorry, guys. Not sorry. Okay, so because that highlighter was shit, uh, something that may help us get over the disappointment of it is one of my favourite highlighters of all time. It is by Clyde's Makeup and it's a Space Age Prophecy Highlighter. Honestly, like, this highlighter is... It's just mesmerising. I don't use her all the time because she can be a bit unexpected. Like, she creates a bit of, like, a rainbow look. 
in a very subtle way but sometimes like you never know what you're going to get sometimes you can get like a bit of blue sometimes a bit of green or you just never know so she's a bit unpredictable it's kind of like me but um i'm going to use her today because she is fabulous and i really want to use her okay so i'll just put my brush in there okay you ready for this guys i don't think you're ready are you ready well, I can't hear if you're ready or not, so I'm just going to assume you're ready now. So, okay, let's go. I mean, can you see that? I mean, what? I mean, holla holla down, holla holla down. Look at that. I mean, ooh, wow. The only thing is, can you see what I mean about the rainbow? Like, I can definitely see little bits of like, like if I look face on, can you see like a bit of a rainbow? But it kind of looks a bit blue. And although I think it is admittedly so gorgeous, I just don't. I sometimes don't want blue on my face because it can look like a bit of a bruise. But I just wish that Clyde's makeup would make this same formula but without the rainbow look or just without the blue and green just so we had that absolutely electric glow but, you know, without the the rainbow, the other colours. And you wouldn't expect it, would you, from the looks of it because it just looks like your ordinary kind of highlighter but, oh, she is a treat to behold. I mean, holla holla down. Holla holla down. I just realised I've missed a whole patch of my nose with there with my foundation. Awesome. Go, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, you just makes your skin look so beautiful. I could stare at this all day. Well, not all day, but I could stare at it for a while because, wow. Holla holla down. Holla holla down. So, right, I'm just going to pop some on my nose, which will probably backfire on me because it'll look blue, but... No, it didn't. Oh my gosh, so cute. I look like I've got a little button nose. I hurt her hair. So cute. And I'll put some up here. Okay, so guys, wow, 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 wow. By the way, if you've not tried this hat lighter, I would definitely recommend. But um, yeah, is she, is she very wearable? I don't know. I'm going to let you just decide on that. Just it. What is wearable anyway? Let's face it. Like some things that are not wearable to someone else will be totally wearable to someone else. It's so subjective. So anyway, I'll let you decide on that. But this is the final look. I am so sorry we did not get to try the concealer today. I was fully intending to try it. Um, but I just forgot how full coverage the You Can Be foundation was. Uh, but uh, do you know what? I'm glad I've got to try the You Can Be foundation again. I would definitely say this shade uh, is a perfect match for my skin. It's just uh, fantastic. So I will confirm the shade um, well to you in the description so that if you did want to try it, you know, maybe you could get an idea of what the shades are like based on my skin. Um, but I would only say like, Try it with caution and only if you want like a super full coverage foundation. If you don't want a super full coverage foundation, don't try this because it's probably one of the most fullest coverage foundations I've ever tried ever. So anyway, guys, I am going to go. Thank you so much for watching the video today and I hope to see you in the next one.